almost looks like foam. All right, so the, this is going to be our number two. Okay. So this is sterile seawater that has been autoclaved, which is um, high heat and high pressure. These are what are called scintillation vials. So what I've done here is, is sterilize this piece of plastic and put a little notch in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this to one of the scintillation vials with the sterile seawater in it to control for a piece of plastic with no microbes growing on it whatsoever that has not been in the ocean. One of the most interesting and exciting aspects of this research we're doing with plastics is looking at the microorganisms living on the plastic pieces themselves. This region of the ocean is an extreme environment in many respects. It's low in nutrients and high in UV radiation. And we want to know, what are these microorganisms, these biofilm communities doing with this plastic? Are they degrading it? Are they using it for shelter? And how do those communities differ from the communities in the open ocean or on other natural debris? So we sort of have three things going on for the microbial end of the project. We're doing incubation experiments where we take a piece of plastic that's been colonized by microbes and we put it into sterile seawater and we're going to incubate those over time and the reason why we have it in sterile seawater is in order to exclude any of the microbes that would just be living in regular seawater. And so we're just holding on to those microbes that are living on the plastic only. And the second part is the DNA analysis. So. We're going to deep freeze pieces of plastic and take it back to the lab at home and isolate the DNA that's on the pieces of plastic and then determine what types of microbes are living on the plastic. And the last thing that we're doing is microscopy and so we're preserving the pieces of plastic with what are called biofilms or these layers of uh, microorganisms that are living on the plastic. Uh, we're preserving them and we're going to look at them under a microscope later on. And combining the, the DNA analysis with the microscopy, we'll be able to pinpoint which microbes are living where on the pieces of plastic.